Hey, welcome back to the bench. So since last time we had the VIA working uh, with some basic outputs on the GPIO pins, I've now got the uh, serial communication uh, via the USB to UART converter working, which means we should be able to get this booting a version of BASIC and uh, trying it out. A um, couple of mistakes along the way that I found. The This is the uh, WDC 6551 which is our ACIA serial communication device uh, unfortunately there is a bug in this version of the chip and although you can work around it it was just too much of a headache so instead I managed to pick up these uh, 1988 6551 from Rockwell which don't have the same issue so if you are going to build one of these try and pick one of these up you can get them on eBay for a, a couple of dollars couple of pounds each um, as well last time I discovered that I'd forgotten that the USB to UART converter is 3.3 volts and not 5 so it required some logic level conversion so I have created this uh, new daughter board to sit on top which has the serial converter on it as well as a logic level converter um, which neatly plugs onto the top of the board there we go um, so the level conversion from the uh, we have our USB to UART converter We have the now TXB0104 logic level converter, it's a 4 bit, and then we have the 6551. This is our Rockwell version. And so to connect this up, the takes being these 3 volts and 5 volts so 3 for the in 5 for the outside so on pin 1 here we feed th from the 3.3 volt pin of the USB to UART converter and then on pin 14 from the 5 volt line we're going to feed 5 volts, pin 7 uses ground and then the RX and TX lines from here are fed to pins 3 and 4 and then on the other side we take out the RX and feed it to the TX of the Rockwell and we feed the TX to the RX these are pins uh, 12 and 11 on this side. So now everything on this side is running at 5 volts, everything on this side is running at 3.3 volts, and we should be able to get our communication working properly. So let's take this over to the computer and plug it in, let's get it booted. So I've got the board plugged into the computer now, and uh... I'm just going to cheat a little, use a, a serial monitor from the Arduino tools and it's connected to the machine. Now if we reboot with the reset button it gives us our startup message for EH Basic and we want to cold boot because we've not booted this before Need to make sure that we set carriage returns and the line endings, and we're ready. So we should be able to run the very basic "Hello World." Ooh, spell it right. Uh, Twenty go to ten and then flood ourselves with the hello world give it a reboot and back to our cold boot screen 
Okay, so let's take a quick look at the code. So on this board, I'm using EH Basic, which is a basic implementation written by a guy called Lee Davidson. Um, this version that you'll find all over the internet was written to work with the simulator, so I have to make a few minor modifications for it to work. Mainly, it uses a simulated ACIA for communication. We're going to use a real one. So in the minimal monitor program, which is the code that boots our system before running the basic, implementation I have in here added in the uh, address ranges for our ACIA device I've added in a section here when the system boots to initialize the ACIA telling it the board rate and other parameters for communication and then further down here we have the two major pieces of change which are the ACA out for the uh, device to send back to us so whenever this is called we push the current value of the accumulator onto the stack we load the status of the ACA and make sure that the buffer output output buffer is empty if it's empty, then we're going to load the value of the accumulator back and store that data out. If it wasn't empty, then we just loop back to this point waiting for that buffer to be clear before we try sending the byte. So in the ACA in method, now we have load the status of our ACA again, check to make sure that there's data waiting. If there's no data, we just skip to the end. There's no point in carrying on loading the data if there is data then we will load that data in and then make sure that the, a received flag is set so basic can pick up that data that is mainly it for the modifications the only other things are some minor address mapping stuff which is down at the bottom here where I have uh, added in some vector statements here so the compiler knows where to insert this code into our EEPROM all this code is up on GitHub. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.